What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. It's JJ. And Mike. And another CIF final video for you to feast your eyes on. This one between Milliken and El Toro. Sometimes things work out exactly the way they're expected to. El Toro the number one seed in the bracket, Milliken the number two. El Toro coming off a great win over Loyola. Two goals from their star midfielder, Jacob Kaiser, arguably the best player in Orange County. Yeah, I think uh, he's proven that time and time again. And going up against uh, one of the best players in the southern section on, on Milliken, Ho Chicken Jose Torres. And one of the best defenses and goalkeepers, uh, George Becerra right there. And in the start of this one, it was what you would expect. Back. And forth. And back again. And forth again. <laughs> uh, but Milliken found their cleats first. Um, they were able to get the, the, the early pressure. Uh, they, they looked like they were... I don't know, maybe a little bit more excited to be in this game, it seemed, early on. They didn't show the nerves they showed early in St. Francis, which they used to get this early chance for Chicken left blocked by the keeper for... Uh... Just got his hand on it. That was headed right for the netting, uh, and, and Chicken knew that that was the chance he needed. Uh, El Toro actually, right after that chance, came back. They used their big size and throwing ability to, uh, to work the ball down the field, and wouldn't you know it... Jared Rickard... Jacob Kaiser. Jared Rickard and Jacob Kaiser hooked up for the first goal against Loyola, and it would be Rickard and Kaiser again for the first goal here against Milliken. Nobody, nobody jumps like number seven from El Toro. No, his uh, his ups were unbelievable, and uh, Coach Pekovic and Milliken talked about it before the game. I mean, they knew that was what they had to neutralize, and he didn't get another look like that all game, but in soccer, as we know, sometimes one can be enough. And that one was what Milliken was looking for in the latter part of the second, or in the first half. Um, and they showed off their throwing ability as well. Yeah, Jesse Hernandez tossing this one in. Oh, oh that was God. so close. Slow that down again, because, yeah, man, that, you that might one. not realize how close that was. And this one, if you're not paying attention, that goes in the net. You think the Milliken Rams have equalized this, but... You see uh, the, the Chargers pointing. The referee did a good job today. I, I think the, I think the refing was uh, was good. Yeah. It hit the, hit the crossbar, hit the football, not the football crossbar. <laughs> and uh, he was so paying that's attention. Out, of, out of play. So it's 1-0 El Toro at halftime. Uh, Coach Petrovic saying, hey, we're getting chances. Let's keep getting chances, but we got to capitalize on them. And we got a chance to watch Kaiser and Torres uh, go head-to-head -head as El Toro packed the box and just played defense against these Rams. They did get some chances uh, with the throw-ins. They continued, but no, no real chances in the flow of the game. As uh, as Milliken Milliken went on the went on the offensive. Yeah, they really possessed the ball for I would say three fourths of uh, of this second half. Nelson Preciado here, the senior, playing out of his mind in this game. The seniors, especially Nelson on the wing, uh, really showed up in the second half. Uh, like you said, I and and I, I totally agree that that was a that great cross ball right to Cesar Ramirez almost did it. They they really showed up in the second half, and Milliken I don't think could have played any better. I mean, the only way you could have played better is if one of these had gone into the back of the net. And especially on the set pieces, they would have wished for more quality. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? It's soccer. It's soccer. You could that you could call that. You couldn't call it. It can go either way. Uh, this is Jose Ruiz who uh, who tied the game against St. Francis with a throw and goal. And again, look at this perfect positioning on the throw. And and El Toro was just in the right place at the right time all game. Milliken just couldn't quite get that last touch. He makes that look so close. I know, and again, I mean, they get a head on it, and it's just, it's just wide. Just not enough for the Rams to take the final. The Chargers from El Toro are going to be fitting themselves for the rings. Uh, the Rams, great season. We, we, we've said that about a lot of teams this year, but uh, you can really say that these seniors carried this team to uh, pretty much as far as they could go. And we won't know uh, until Sunday, but there's a very good chance we'll be seeing this team in the state bracket. Um, so, you know, it's a loss in the championship, but season might not be over yet. CIF got it right. Those are the two best teams in the southern section, maybe the two best teams in California.